You see, every farmer knows that when they operate on their farm, they're essentially dealing with a system of production. And what we have seen increasingly over the last 150 years is that farming has in a sense become an extractive industry. It's not operating as a sustainable farming operation. We are seeing desalination becoming a problem as a result of irrigated agriculture. We're seeing soil fertility going down. We're seeing soil degradation and desertification. We're actually contracting the amount of arable land available to the world to grow food at a time when we are supposed to be thinking about how 9 billion people will be fed. Ecosystems and an ecosystem approach to farming is essentially trying to bring agriculture more in sync with maintaining soil fertility, recognizing the limitation of groundwater resources, dealing also with biodiversity, pollinators. You know, many of the functions that nature provides for agriculture are through modern um, and industrial agriculture almost either being eroded or at least impaired in terms of their functionality. An ecosystem approach is looking at the future of agriculture and food security from the perspective, can a farmer, can we as a society, can we as a global economy, produce food without depleting the very resource on which we rely for food production, which is nature's assets. Well, for instance, you start with the science. You need to understand better what is it that is, in a sense, the, the, the live system within which a farmer is producing. So understanding hydrology, understanding soil fertility, looking also at crops, looking at the enhancing productivity options that exist in our modern agricultural scientific knowledge. And yes, herbicides, pesticides, fertilizers are certainly one function with which you can increase significantly agricultural production. But UNCTAD and UNEP produced a report on organic farming in Africa about three, four years ago. And one of the interesting things we found is that organic farming intensification can equally yield 80, 90, 100% increase in yields with far less dependence on expensive inputs and also using what essentially a farmer has available in their local economy. Secondly, to look also at things such as the integrated management of farming operations, agroforestry. In Nairobi, we have the World Agroforestry Center right next to the headquarters of the United Nations Environment Program. It's always striking to me how little we have still in the modern farming economy integrated trees into the management of a farming system. It's part of carbon capture, it's part of soil fertility. You even have in Africa an acacia tree that's called a fertilizer tree, which you can plant in your fields in order to have nitrogen fixing functions. We know many of these things, but we have not incentivized, and in the agricultural extension services, not made the notion of working with nature rather than trying to replace nature in agriculture with modern chemistry a part of the future agricultural strategy. And that is, I think, a task that we in the United Nations Environment Program take very seriously because the future of food security on the current trajectory is a road to nowhere. We know this, and uh, to simply repeat the statistics every day that we need to grow 50, 60, 70 percent more food without answering the question on what land, with which water, and with what kind of seed diversity, I think is a, is a discussion that merits much greater attention.